Newly elected Congressman Josh Harder arrives in Washington, D.C. today. There he is. We've highlighted him. He joined the new freshman class of representatives for a photo op today at the U.S. Capitol. Harder was declared the winner of the 10th Congressional District, beating longtime incumbent Jeff Denham. It never felt like it was in the bag. Never for a minute. The race was one of a few that were too close to call following Election Day. So why will a recount be highly unlikely here? CBS 13's Carlos Correa is getting answers for us tonight. As the ballot count in California's 10th district is finalized, political analysts are expecting the support for declared winner Josh Harder to grow. Modesto attorney Lisa Batista, volunteer with the California Democratic Party, says candidate Josh Harder's win in the 10th district came as a surprise. It was a very close race, and this race, Jeff Denham has been hard to beat in this district for several election cycles. Um, and so it, it was, it never felt like it was in the bag. Harder was declared the winner, beating out longtime Republican Representative Jeff Denham, even though there are still more than 17,000 ballots left to tally. We're delighted. There has been a huge group of activists from Tracy to Turlock here in California District 10 who have worked nonstop for over a year and a half. On Wednesday, Denham did concede the race. Supporters say with a 5,000 vote lead, the margin is just too large for Denham to defeat. Political analysts say Harder's win demonstrates the way in which elections have become nationalized. Congressional races used to be about the local district, used to be about local issues, and you know, this campaign was not about those things. It was about Nancy Pelosi. It was about health care. It was about Trump. In a statement, Harder pledged to be a member of Congress for the entire district, regardless of political party. Denham, who served for eight years, thanked his constituents, calling his time in office an honor. Both parties are going to, in the immediate future, you know, compete for this district. So I would expect a strong Republican challenger in 2020. A spokesperson for Harder says he's in D.C. for new member orientation. He will likely address the media early next week.